Okay, so here we're gonna install the mod into a Waterworld, it's a Gottlieb machine. So I have my Gottlieb power connector here. So the first step is we're going to connect the Gottlieb power connector into the head on the power board. Actually, it goes onto the audio board in this case. So I'm gonna remove the power connector from the mod. Uh, you can see here we already took the glass off the pinball machine. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can look up a step-by-step -step directions online. Uh, we also need to take the glass off here. So make sure you find your keys to get the glass out. Put that off to the side. And then we're going to open up the light box here. And so if you want to get closer and show. So in this case, uh, my power tap here is going to take place of this connector right here. This is the audio board, and it's the bottom left connector on the audio board. It is labeled A6J2. So we're gonna gently take that off, and you can see here it is A6J2. So we're gonna take my power connector, and we're gonna plug it in the same way that was plugged in. We do have a key here, so it only goes one direction. Just make sure you do not put it offset. And get it nice and snug there. And then we're gonna take the original connector and plug it into my power tap. Again, make sure it's just the right direction and it's not offset. Okay, that looks good. You're gonna take the rest of your cables here and we're actually going to drop them Them down the back box hole here and we'll fish it out later when we connect it to the mod. You could alternatively install the mod first and push fish, fish the power connector upward, but I find this to be easier. Let's get this out of the way here. Okay, so now our power is done, we're going to install the mod here. And actually, let me get that power connector. Just going to find the power connector and bring it up. Okay, now we have our power connector here. It's a little bit long in this case, but we can shove the rest back down there when we're done. Uh, okay, now we need to find somewhere for our mod to be mounted to. In the box, I include an L-shaped bracket and a straight bracket. So the L-shaped bracket will get screwed to the bottom of the TV and come off the back. This is used when we want to mount to one of these back screws here. So you can see it fits pretty good right there. This one it can't reach, that one can't reach, those, those three have stuff in the way. But this is actually a pretty good position right here. So we might end up mounting it there. But let's try the other bracket in case you want a different option. So we're going to put the bottom bracket there. and. We can try and find a, bra uh, a mounting position on the playfield. Any of these screws will do as long as it, there's room for the mod. 
Um, it also can't be up too high because the glass will get in the way. You don't want it too low or else you're not going to be able to see it. Um, but maybe this screw right here would be a good candidate. Um, you don't want to put it in front of your other toys. That's a big toy right there. Um, it doesn't really fit right there. So it looks like actually our best option is going to be the L bracket right off of the back screw here. So I'm going to take that screw out really quick. Okay. And I've already put the back bracket on here. I'm going to put the screw through the eye hole there. This one's a little tight, so I'll have to screw it in a little bit. Okay. So now let's put it back where it was. Oh, before putting it back on, it's probably best if we plug the power cable in. The, uh, the little notches go down. Okay, make sure that's firmly in or it won't turn on. And we're going to screw it the rest of the way in. And then when we get at the end, we can adjust the TV so it's straight and give it a little adjustment after 10. Okay, so it might bounce a little bit when the game's being played, but it's pretty straight there. And go ahead and get a look from the player view and see that that's pretty good there. Okay, and if I turn this on, When the mod first turns on, it will be a white screen, and that's booting up for about 10 seconds. Then it will turn black as it continues boots, but now that means the LCD has been recognized. And shortly after that, we'll start playing video. In this case, this one is Waterworld. So it has the Waterworld uh, movie on there. Uh, let's take a quick look how it's going to look installed on a Williams machine. So over here, next to our water roll, is a Terminator 2. I've already taken the glass and the back glass off. And you can see I installed the mod back here. Um, I used a straight connector to connect to the screw right here on the ramp. And the power on a Williams machine. Now this is on the older Williams platforms. You'll find the power right here, um, J118. You could also use J117 and J116. They're all, all the same. And here's my connector right here for the Williams. And you just plug it into one of those three, plug the original one into there, and make sure the mod's connected, and it's good to go. On the Williams WPC95 platform, you'll find the this connector will actually go to the top of the board. The manual I send will show you the position for that. Um, and then next we're going to take a quick look at a Data East machine. So I'll go over here. So here we have a Jurassic Park. And this one, you'll actually see a different case on my TV mod. This one is a CRT monitor. Um, in the back box here, in the back box here, the power connector is all the way over here to the left. And it is a, it's a long, I believe, 15 pin connector. It's a little bit harder to get that off because it's so big, uh, but it's the same exact thing. It's a, uh, let me take it off so I can show you. Gotta, gotta wiggle this one out. So you can see the position here and the board there. And that is connected. Okay, thank you for watching the installation video for the Crazy TV Mod.